Hi, everybody. My name is Justin Kirby. As you heard, um, I will be talking about how to build, deploy, and manage your applications within AWS. So see if we get this, there we go. So what, what we're going to cover is uh, we're going to pack a lot in in a little bit of time. Uh, we're going to hit the uh, uh, use case of what we're trying to solve here. Uh, then we'll go into talking about just two services that um, we can get behind to help solve some of the issues uh, and hurdles we're going to discuss. And then we'll talk, I'll, I'll, go, I'll walk through two demos. We'll show two different ways to show how this is deployed. Uh, and then we'll end it with a summary. So, uh, starting with the, what we're hearing from customers. So, uh, depending on the size, the scope, um, typically what it all comes down to is, uh, we, there's a need for a website or something that's internet facing and very fast. So the question is, is how can we do that in a way that uh, it can be secure because it has to be internet facing. Um, also, it has to be low latency, it has to be responsive. And some of the users may be sprawled across the globe or the region, et cetera. Um, and it has to be cost efficient as well. So um, I will discuss uh, two services that um, we help, uh, how we help customers get around some of these, some of these hurdles as they build and want to deploy their websites across the globe. The first, the first service that I'm going to talk about is Amazon CloudFront. So um, what this is, is it's a, our content delivery network. And really what this is here to do is bring the collateral and bring videos and, and documents closer to the user. So we help, when we do this, we help optimize the experience of that internet facing website that you have to provide for your customers. Um, so we're helping the performance and we're also helping with security because we have encryption and we have, um, because it's spread out into different locations across the globe closer to your user, um, it's harder for DDoS attacks to take this piece of collateral down. And then also with this, um, and what you're seeing is we have about 600 plus pops or points of presence globally that helps us bring this closer to the users. Uh, and with that, we also have built in to this, uh, to all these pops security as well. So that, this brings me to the next service that we'll cover, which is AWS WAF. And so as you look at the challenge, which is how, do, how can we put something internet facing, it's got to be secure, it's got to scale, and it's got to have performance, but it's got to be secure. The way we do that is with our AWS WAF, our web application firewall. And so, as you can see on this slide, uh, our WAF seamlessly integrates with a few different services. The one we're going to talk about is uh, Amazon CloudFront, as I said, which is the content delivery network. And so, really what this allows us to do is um, you can take your website or your uh, collateral, whatever videos or photos, and, and put that in our content delivery network. And then you can also secure that with our AWS WAF. And so, we have... AWS managed rules that you can simply apply to put in front of your website that you're putting into the content delivery network. Um, there are some other custom rules you can build as well. So, with that said, so that's a background of the two services that we're going to talk about in demo. Now, there's two ways you can, you can um, bring this together to, to help um, the hurdles that we talked about, which is having, having your website available, uh, responsive, uh, good performance, and secure. First is from uh, the security professionals, you can build this policy in our AWS WAF. So we'll walk through that. Um, but you can also, for maybe the NetOps team, um, some of the DevOps teams, or even maybe for some of the SecOps, you can build this directly with, um, built by building your CloudFront distribution, and that's with our, one, our newer one-click deployment within CloudFront. And we'll cover that as well. But one of the most important uh, call-outs here is all we're really doing, and that does look small up there, but all we're really doing is as we, put the, as we build the distribution, we are putting uh, a filter in front of it with three AWS managed rules. And these managed rules, I've uh, highlighted them here uh, on the slide, but um, the first one is our Amazon IP reputation list. So this is a lot of the intelligence and, and um, some of the bad IPs that we get from our Amazon.com side of the house. So we get a lot of intelligence there and we bundle that up and manage that for you and via a managed rule. So um, in this case, we're gonna turn on that uh, Amazon IP reputation list. 
because uh, that is a rule that we manage. We're also going to turn on our core rule set, which includes stuff like OWASP top 10, and it helps us prevent against some of the common exploits. And then the other rule that we're going to put on, which is another AWS managed rule or AMR, is our known bad inputs. And that really helps us understand what might be trying to get to the website we want to stand up and, and um, deploy globally. We um, can turn that on so we can look at some of the, those known bad inputs that are trying to go after those zero days and some of the exploits in applications. So we're going to deploy these three rules in both scenarios. So I'm going to walk through both demos. Uh, we will start with demo number one. And so just to kind of reiterate, this would be if you're building the policy within AWS WAF, and maybe you're going to do from that, you're going to deploy that out to your CloudFront distribution. So let's see if this demo starts on... Okay, so here we are. I'm in the console, and I'm, the first thing I'm going to do is go to AWS WAF and Shield. So what you're seeing right now, I'm in the AWS console. I'm in, within AWS WAF. And you'll see some of the, um, some of the uh, features on the side, which you'll see uh, we have our Shield Advance, which is our DDoS protection. We also have our Firewall Manager, which is another service as you expand, you can manage centrally. Um, but what we're, so that's some of the, the high level uh, stuff that once you get into AWS WAF and play around, you can do that. But what we're gonna do is build uh, a new web ACL. So what we're saying here is, um, there, uh, this shows the five simple steps to building this policy that you'll put in front of uh, your content distribution network. So the first step is really, we're gonna name uh, we're going to create a name for the CloudFront distribution. And what I want to point out here is I'm calling this CloudFront uh, baseline policy. And the reason I'm doing that is I'm building that uh, policy in WAF, and then, and then other people that may be building within CloudFront can see that policy there and deploy that. And I'll show that in a minute. So I've, I've named the policy. There's some other standard uh, configurations here that you can change, um, like body limit size and other things. Um, but we're going to keep, uh, for this demo, we'll keep standard configuration. Now, if there was already a CloudFront distribution created, you would see that under the AWS resources. You could pick that and deploy it here. Uh, but we're not going to do that in this demo. So the next thing we're going to do is now we have to add policy. And now, if you remember, I said we're going to, uh, in both demos, we're going to add the three managed rules that a lot of our customers like, enjoy, and always use. Um, but, but the first thing I'll show is you can build custom rules here. We're not going to do that. We're just going to make this simple. And we're going to use managed rules. Now, these managed rules show that we have our managed rules within AWS. We also have a number of other rules of some of the partners you see here today um, that you can use their rules within our WAF as well, which is pretty cool. All right, so we're going to use our AWS managed rules. So when I choose that, you're going to see some managed rules, like we have bot control, we have advanced bots. Those are just some of the filters that you can add in front of this CloudFront distribution. Um, we're not going to do that. And if you remember, we're, because we're building this one in WAF, for the sec SecOps and the security teams, they can really um, go to your heart's content and, and add other kind of policies, custom policies, et cetera. But again, we're going to add a, just a baseline security to this app to the application we're protecting. And if you remember the three AMRs I talked about, that's what we're doing right here. So you'll see the, the first one is, um, actually, we have, so we have other rules as well. If you have Linux or if you have PHP, POSIX, uh, we have some custom managed rules just showing you that here. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to scroll back up and we're going to choose the three managed rules that I discussed on starting, which is the Amazon IP reputation list. So all we have to do is, you'll see me go over, and I'll turn that on. Uh, and then we go down to the core rule set. And again, that was the OWASP top 10, a lot of the, t to cover against a lot of the top vulnerabilities. I'll just go ahead and turn that on. And then finally, the known bad inputs. The third one um, is another managed rule, so it's easy for us to just read, you can read about it. I mean, get more detail if you click into it, um, but we're just going to turn that one on as well. And that's the, that's the baseline policy. So now that we have that, we'll go to add rules. The next step is um, you can uh, ch uh, add some custom responses. So if you want a response to just um, allow, which that's what we recommend. We always do, you first want to get an understanding of what this policy is doing. So we do allow mode, not block. But you can customize that. 
you can customize the, the, um, the order in which these rules are. So for some of the security folks, you can go really deep here and add allow lists, block lists, other things. But again, we're going to keep this basic security with our managed rules. And then this is just kind of a summary showing us what we did. And we are going to do next. And scroll down, more summary, and then we're going to create the web ACL. So essentially what we've just done is we've created that policy with those three rules that are managed by us. And then now I've named that CloudFront Baseline Policy, so it's there. So that's the first way of doing it. So again, that was maybe a security-minded uh, individual, a customer that is looking into going into WAF and building the rule within WAF. That is one way to do it. Now the second way, what we're going to do is we're going to build the same policy we just built in WAF. We're going, to this, we're going to apply the same three managed rules, but we're going to do that from CloudFront. And this is really, um, the reason I show both demos is to show how simple it is in CloudFront. So this is CloudFront, our CDN. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to build the same thing we just built, but we're going to do it within CloudFront. So I'm going to go to the CloudFront council in the UI. And as that comes up, you're going to see some standard uh, 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 configuration pieces within CloudFront. You're going to see all the current distributions are already there. And what we're going to do is we're going to go create a new distribution. So what we're saying is, hey, we're going to start a new distribution. We're, going to, we're protecting a website or something that we need to display globally. So the first step is there's some common configurations within CloudFront. Um, just uh, s simple stuff, but the first thing I'm doing is I'm selecting the origin. So let's say the origin is in an S3 bucket or it's in behind an ALB. I'll select that ALB. And then now there's a lot of, uh, the rest of this is some common configurations within CloudFront. Um, nothing that really has to be changed if, if you don't need to. Uh, then as we scroll down a little more, you're going to see, um, actually I, I, in this demo, I um, depress the cache policy, so the CDN will cache the content. So for a demo, I'm saying don't cache anything. But here's the important point. So this is, uh, as you're building your CloudFront distribution, it's asking, do you want to enable security? So you have to select this. So it's either yes, I do, or no, I do not. And so when you select yes, you do, the first thing it says is, do you want to put this in monitor mode? So if you were creating a policy in here, we recommend start in monitor mode, and really what that says is we'll turn it on and see what happens from the logs. However, it says you can use an existing WAF configuration. The first demo I did would show up here because we built the configuration in WAF, we named it, um, and then you would see it in this drop down here. And so if the team wanted to, to use the configuration that the security team built, you could do it right there. But we're not going to do that. So we put it in monitor mode, um, and then what it's saying, what I'm pointing at here is it's saying, here are the three rules we're going to apply to this, cloud, this CloudFront distribution. Same rules that I've talked about a few times and that I built in WAF, just showing you the different way to use it. So it gives you a little detail on those rules here. A newer feature to this one-click WAF uh, within CloudFront is if you, have C if you need SQL protections behind this CloudFront distribution, you can select that managed rule, and then that will add um, the rule that we manage that helps protect um, some malicious traffic going, uh, trying to access SQL. And then also another recommendation that we tell all of our customers is at a minimum you want to at least have a pretty big rate limit. Um, and so you set up a rate limit so if, if, if push comes to shove and you have a DDoS event, um, it can fall back and say after so many requests, we'll just start denying it from that IP. So you can add that rate limit here too. We're not going to do that in this demo. But so now um, we're just going to move forward. So we're going to enable the security. We're going to put it in count mode. And then there's some other settings for the distribution here. And we're just going to create distribution. And so when we do that, now we've created a distribution that's in front of the collateral or the origin of what you need to show globally. And we've added security. So the first thing you'll see is um, when we go to the security tab, and this is still within CloudFront, we're going to see some interesting visibility that we get right away, which is um, it'll show us what we have it enabled in, in monitor mode. We haven't turned on SQL. We haven't turned on rate, the rate limit rule. But it gives us visibility into what's going on. And so uh, which shows how many requests. This is a lab environment, so there's a lot of requests, nothing bad. But it also shows the percentage of traffic coming from bots. And that we've seen a lot of times when you put something online, 
instantly you have bot traffic coming, whether it's SEOs or whatever it might be. So we give you that visibility and we give you the option to turn that on and so to decrease all of the uh, bot traffic going to your origin or going to your website. So we give you a lot of great visibility out of the box uh, and that, uh, I'm also showing some of the other distributions here, but that's it. So just to summarize what we just talked about, um, there's two ways to do it. Um, I, I showed this, the way you can do it with this, uh, from a security lens, which is building policy within WAF. Uh, we applied three of our simple managed rules. If you wanted to, you could go deeper, you could do rate limiting, you could do CAPTCHA, you could do a lot of different things. Um, but we showed that, we built the policy from a security lens and said, hey, we're gonna name it CloudFront Baseline Security so that if anybody is building websites and wants to and is building a CloudFront distribution, when they go to apply security, it'll show, hey, do you want to apply this baseline policy that your security team built? They can select that and move forward. So then, then we also showed how easy it is to build the policy in the, with the CloudFront distribution, which was just enable security. It's all automatically going to deploy those three managed rules. You can add rate limiting. You can add um, uh, uh, SQL protection. And then we deploy it. And, um, and it was really... Uh, um, that simple from the CloudFront distribution. So with that, that is it. Um, I want to thank you. I want to thank you for joining. Thank you for listening and watching. Thanks, everybody.